that sort of hides right from the start. So, every issue starts with a pitch to the editor and ultimately to Hasbro. Um, you know, I'm not expecting to read this, but, you know, I never, you know, I'm not at liberty just to sort of launch into anything. Every storyline has to be approved by the editor and then Hasbro. And with the spotlights, what I would often try and do is nail the story in the opening paragraph. And these opening paragraphs strangely came in useful when they actually published the comics because we used to have a little sort of, you know, character spot on the opening page and I would break down what I'd done in that, you know, to sort of give it readers an introduction to the character. But, you know, just generally with pitching to an editor, you know, editors are busy people without a huge amount of spare time. So you have to sell them on your idea pretty quickly. So, you know, no matter how far along you are, you've just got to be as brief and, and sort of buttonhole the storyline for them. So, you know, that's what I'll do. I'll hit them with an opening paragraph which kind of sums up, you know, what the, the issue will contain, what the character element is in each one. And then I'll go into a more detailed breakdown of the story. Um, and, you know, this thing will go back and forth between me and the editor for a while, and, you know, then Hasbro will have their, their sort of, uh, you know, amount of, you know, yes, we like this, or no, we don't, or can we get this character in? But largely Hasbro, you know, in my experience, have been quite hands-off with the storylines. You know, they, they, you know they, they kind of trust IDW and myself just to sort of do the job without too much interference. So, you know, that's where, where everyone starts off with a plot, and once that's okayed, I get a green light to script. Now, once upon a time, when I was doing Transformers for Marvel, it used to be done in a thing called Marvel plot style, um, which was, rather than here, where you break down each panel on the page and include all the dialogue, with plot style, you would tend to do a whole page as a clump of text, and, or maybe three pages, and it was down to the artist to break down the story. And then you'd get the artwork, and you'd layer in the dialogue on top of the artwork. And it's kind of nice to do it that way, because sometimes the artist can really surprise you with what they give you back, and it changes a little bit of what you had intended for the page or the story. But in this case, you have much more control over, you know, the actual sort of content of each page. <coughs> 